In the midst of a raging pandemic and economic downturn, the Penang government bought a new official car for Chief Minister Chao Kon Yao, a Mercedes-Benz costing 458,000 ringgit. Talk about bad timing. Needless to say, the purchase of the 2019 Mercedes S560 E model has incurred the ire of many, including former youth and sports minister Syed Sadiq Syed Abdul Rahman. In a Facebook posting yesterday, Syed Sadiq said that there was no need for a luxury car at a time when many people were out of jobs because of COVID-19 and others affected by the worsening floods in certain parts of the country. We must be fair. Before this, we had criticized the Kelantan Pass leadership over their new Mercedes-Benz official vehicles and for taking a pay rise during the time of COVID-19. Now it is just the same, he said. The purchase even drew comments from economist Ramon Navaratnam, who said he was shocked to learn of the lavish spending by Penang, which prides itself for fiscal prudence. This is a poor indication of their quality of thinking and negates the good policies they have. They have to be aware that the voting public is keeping a close watch, he told FMT. In 2014, then Penang Chief Minister Lim Guan Eng defended the purchase of the Mercedes-Benz, saying it was better in the long run and that it took into account the safety and security of state leaders. It goes without saying that the purchase of new cars for chief ministers and Mintri's Basar has always drawn criticism from various quarters that see it as a bone of contention.